this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Uh, William, can you uh, can you help out Polly a little bit? There seems to be a uh, a small but very dangerous army of googlies uh, attacking. Oh, don't blow up! Don't blow up the crew. You know what I keep discovering as I walk around my world? There's just oh. <laughs> Oh no, there's gonna be more! There's just like patches <laughs> where there's just like, well, either holes or like bits. Oh, I'm so slow because I haven't had my breakfast yet. Oh, I'm so hungry! Uh, yeah, like, I went up here the other day and I was uh, speaking to William. I was like, oh, William, um, oh wait, oh, it's fixed! Oh, it's fixed! Oh, it's like magic! So there was a, there was a giant like hole here and it was all like filled in with like black concrete. But it's being repaired. Oh, good helpers. Good help. It, uh, it's like it's like the progress it like that it makes. It will gradually like get repaired over time. Anyway, oh no. I've got to make it all the way back <laughs> to my bedroom really slowly. So let me let me change the order we're doing things today. Let me do the love garden first. On a hungry belly, but I will suffer through it. And then I'm gonna go have my breakfast. So I don't want to eat, because then I'll like walk quicker back there, but then I'll be like full up when I get there and I won't be able to eat. Uh, anyway, uh, to the Love Garden today, I'm adding days, and that is because of this lovely picture. It looks like I'm almost at like a birthday party, uh, but I don't know if that's just because of the other uh, cake. But there are a lot of balloons there as well, and I just look so happy and contented, and it's actually making me hungry seeing me there eating the, the cake. So I'm going to very quickly add you to my Love Garden day, say th uh, so much uh, thank you for the uh, the picture, and yeah, let's go uh, let's go have my have my food, and then. We are going to be trying to build an enormous train bridge. So I definitely want to have uh, all of my food, so I have plenty of energy. I'll be honest, I don't know how much we're going to get done today. There's a lot of things. We need to build the track, we need to build the bridge, I need to decorate the station. There's a lot we've got to get done today, and I'm not going to get it all done today. So let's just do uh, as much uh, as we can and be happy with the progress. Uh, but first let me eat my cake. Nom, 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 nom. Mm, very tasty. Barnaby, uh, you can stand up and uh, you can join me for the uh, the whole episode uh, today, Barnaby. Uh, one, because I want you to join me. Uh, two, because we're very tight on time and uh, I don't want to go all the way to the doghouse uh, to get another dog. Uh, let's see how the uh, the repair work has gone over here. Oh, look! You, would, you wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't even notice that there were two creeper explosions here. It looks just the way it was before. Well done, guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go over to the, the train station. So we've got all of the, uh, the outside and the inside of the station done and a uh, a good a good amount of digging and preparation done for the area where the track is going to be so the track's going to start over here right behind the train station uh, it's going to go all the way over there ish uh, towards where my igloo is and then eventually in the future i might end up looping it around there's basically enough space to kind of do it as a giant loop but for now let's uh, let's do it one one little baby step at a time and just try and get this bit done and then we can keep uh, on extending it uh, a little bit later on. So, uh, tell you what, I'm gonna go and, uh, you can wait in here, Barnaby, for safety reasons, uh, where it's nice and warm and cosy for you. And uh, I'm gonna go and start doing some of the, uh, the actual track, uh, that is gonna be, uh, built down here. So, we need, uh, well, we need a crafting table first, uh, and then I need some oak planks, uh, then these are gonna be, uh, half slabs, uh, and then I'm gonna use, uh, diorite, uh, stairs, which are gonna be, uh, what's gonna be used, uh, to kind of make the parts that the train looks like it goes onto. I experimented around a little bit with a few different designs. Uh, this was kind of about as uh, as close enough as I could get it uh, to looking realistic. So these are just going to go uh, all the way along here like that. I'm going for a very simple design. There are like fancier ones that we can do, uh, but this is one that I realised that I could probably do uh, <laughs> relatively easily. And I realise I need to. Oh, you know what'd be good? It'd be good to get a ladder here eventually, just so I can like get it in and out easily. But now let me just go and do this to to get up there like that. Uh, yeah, this is just a design that was simple enough that I we could do it going the whole way and I wouldn't like end up out of like running out of materials and stuff. And look, I'm going to use a stone cutter just because I'm fancy and it's still kind of like a little bit new to me and I don't even know how to do it. There we go. There we go. A whole stack of stairs have uh, have been made. So yeah, these are going to go uh, the whole way along here. Uh, so the stairs are kind of facing uh, as if you're walking into the middle, I guess is the best way to, to put it. Uh, so this is going to stretch the whole way along there like that. And then these um, half slabs, let's say like every, uh, leave a gap of maybe eight. So we go one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, is that too much of a gap? Let's say, let's say seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then these will go here. So it's seven gap of gravel. Uh, uh, I'm saying this, for the, saying this very loud for the helpers. Uh, and then it's going to be another stair. So just going all the way along here like that. There is my very simple uh, track design. So uh, yeah, while they're placing in those tracks, I... I'm going to make a start on the actual uh, bridge itself. Uh, so going down here, uh, it's going to switch from gravel uh, to stone bricks because we are not going to build uh, a giant structure of a, a railway bridge out of gravel in my lovely world. That would uh, not be future-proofing it very much. The entire thing would immediately collapse uh, down. So basically, we're going to go uh, across by two uh, and then up by one. So tell you what, let me just make some... Um, some more oak for now. This is going to get uh, broken away in a little bit. Uh, this is just so I can kind of like make the little steps up. So it's going to look like it's gradually sloping up here. Uh, I could do it more gradual, uh, but then I think it would take ages. And if you did it any more steep, it would look like it would look like the uh, the train's just going to go up a giant ramp and it's going to go flying off the uh, the track, which is not the uh, the look we are going for. So uh, this is going to go up here, and I think we're going to go like uh, like three or four steps high, uh, just to make it so the bridge has a bit of height over the the water. And there's no real reason for that it just makes it look a bit better because then we're going to have some uh, big old fancy columns uh, that the uh, the train's going to be on uh, the the bridge is going to be on sorry uh, just to make like this look like a bit more of a landmark and then I've, I've kind of been going back and forth about where I want the train uh, so I first was going to have the train in the uh, the train station but because of this bridge and I can't really build the train actually going up the bridge uh, I'm kind of thinking that it might actually be cool going across the bridge because if you remember like the the train station another train station, sorry, the igloo where this track's going to end up is going to be like the first thing people see. So when people join my world, they spawn in by the igloo. And I've realized that that's been a very underwhelming, like, entrance place. It's like one of the most bland, empty areas in my entire world. In fact, the first thing they're going to see now is hit the target's castle, which is not the, uh, the best first impression. But if I had this giant, awesome looking bridge with a bunch of, like, redstone lamps going all the way across it, so it's all lit up at night, and then a big old train right in the middle of the, uh, of the track like that would look pretty cool wouldn't it i think that's like a place where more people would see the train rather than kind of like hiding it down the the back uh, around here i think would look a bit better so i think i'll go like one higher I think this looks like a pretty good height to, to go over the top. What is going on? Every time I look, all the helpers are just attacking each other. <laughs> so yeah, I think if we go this height here, and then we can stretch this the, the whole way along. This means it doesn't look like too tall. It doesn't mean the columns are going to be too high up. So this now needs to stretch from here all the way to the igloo. So let me kind of start it building. And then, helpers, I'm going to love you and leave you. You uh, can stop fighting. <laughs> And yeah, just build this all the way over to the igloo on the other side. Then if you want, actually, kind of slope it down to the ground on the other side there. Then I can go and uh, build the, uh, the barricade. But yeah, here you go. You can see what the, uh, the track uh, has ended up looking like. I think this looks pretty good. And it's got a pretty good width for the train. I know it looks quite wide now, uh, and it's a bit weird how there's only one track rather than two, but it, it just doesn't make sense to make it really wide. We're only going to build one train anyway. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the uh, the perfect size. I kind of built the train first and then built the uh, the track to make sure it fits in. So, uh, yeah, while they're doing that, uh, I have a few little decorations that I want to do on the, uh, the platform. So uh, the main thing I want to do is do a overhang. Uh, obviously, uh, lovely world is normally pretty bright and sunny, but we do have our rainy and uh, and snowy uh, days every now and then. So I'm going to build a uh, kind of like a canopy uh, that's going to go over the tracks right up to where uh, this yellow line is. So I think that's there. So I think I'm going to do the, the whole outside. There's going to be a few columns uh, holding this up. Uh, then there's going to be a, a few benches uh, as well. I'm also going to put down some cauldrons. Not because I expect we're going to have many witches riding on it. We're not building the Hogwarts Express. Uh, the cauldrons are basically bins. Uh, we're using the uh, the classic Minecraft use one thing to make it look like something else uh, strategy. So yeah, there's going to be a bunch of those uh, as well. And then eventually as well, uh, I might try and get it done today. But as you can see, there are kind of a million things I'm trying to get done today. I'm going to do some like iron bars because I realize it's kind of silly having this platform here and having the whole ticket booth if people could just like walk onto the platform uh, from the side anyway. Uh, so I'm going to try and block off the uh, the sides as well uh, with some iron bars just to kind of make the uh, the platform uh, kind of look like it's uh, its own sort of a contained area. So that is the plan. Also, I've been doing a little bit of thinking. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of um, 
an expectation from me when I build vehicles. So I built a um, I built a, a hot air balloon and I flew the hot air balloon. I built a plane and I flew the plane. I built a helicopter. I, I've, I've sailed a boat. I've sailed or piloted a submarine. Don't know what the correct terms is. Basically, every time that there's a vehicle in my world, I ride it. I'm not sure how well it would work me riding the train in Minecraft, mainly because now I'm in bedrock and normally bit of behind the scenes here when uh <laughs> when i'm walking or riding a vehicle in the console edition it would move in an exact straight line like if you point in a direction you'll continually move in the exact same direction whereas on bedrock you kind of drift a little bit so say if i'm looking this way and i push to the side i kind of move forward so i don't know whether this train is going to be um maneuverable by me i'm gonna i'm gonna look into it I'm going to try it, but I just kind of want to get people's expectations ready <laughs> that it either won't move, or if it does move, it might move a um a little bit wonky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's fine. Maybe it will be uh, endearing. And you know what? I, I don't know why I never use daylight sensors. They're so good. They're like such an awesome addition to Minecraft, and they're something that I like never really uh, think about. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I kind of wish that I did it like... I use them more throughout my entire world. Like all of the fun land, I got all this glowstone everywhere. And it's kind of like not needed when it's under the daytime. Obviously, you only need it at nighttime. That's the only time that you, you know, often need like any of the, the lights. And I kind of wish that I put like the redstone lamps and um, the, the daylight sensors. Just because it's quite dramatic when they come on. Like when it just starts getting darker and then suddenly like a whole bunch of lamps light up. And uh, they look nicer as well, which I, I think looks quite good. And you know, I of all of the things I thought I was going to spend all of this time building today, I did not think... I was going to spend so much time building the canopy and I know I made it. Oh, hello. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> you made a mistake attacking me. Yeah, I know I made a mistake back there. After that, oh, hello. Did you not learn? Did you not learn from your mate? <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, are you making your way to me? Oh, you got to oh, go all this way. No. Okay. They've learned their lesson. Is it like, fool, fool me twice. Shame on you. Fool me three. I don't know what the saying is, but I think that's what the uh, the zombies learned. So, uh, yeah, they're basically going to be along there like that. I now need to make some... Uh, I might as well make a bunch of these. Uh, some uh, some stone brick walls. Uh, because these are going to be used along the, uh, the bridge uh, as well. Uh, but then they're also going to kind of be going down like this to hold it up. And then I'm going to do some stairs as well. So, uh, you know, I love this stone cutter. This stone cutter is... It, it feels a bit too fancy for me, you know what? It feels a bit too luxurious. <laughs> Not having to go for all of the, uh, the crafting menus. But yeah, I'm just going to do a stair like that there. And the nice thing about these stairs is they actually link together with the walls. And that looks like quite a, a real realistic thing that would be uh, holding it up. So let's just do uh, a few of these. Uh, tell you what, let's just do one on either side and one in the middle for now, uh, just in the uh, in the interest of time, uh, because then I can go and uh, help out doing a little bit more of the uh, the bridge as well. So let's go and do one down there. And then I'm assuming the middle of the building. Yeah, this is going to be the middle of the building there, just like that between the two doors. So let's just go and add one in here. Then if I want to, I can add some more uh, either side uh, if I fancy it. Uh, would look fine. So there we go. That's kind of a, this is kind of looking a little bit more like a an actual train station now, isn't it? And, uh, oh, helpers, if you have finished and uh, want a uh, another job uh yeah if we if we put some um some stone brick uh walls all the way along here as well so just kind of going up here like that uh if we stretch these out on either side and then from here uh, i'm going to do some more of the lamps as well so these are going to stretch up like that and I'm going to put a redstone lamp on the uh, the, the top uh, and uh, once again put some daylight sensors on. So the whole bridge is going to be lit up and it's going to be quite dramatic. It's, I'm quite looking forward to it because as usual, I did do some... Oh, don't you dare. Don't you know I've just built this. I've just built this. We've had too many creeper explosions already today. Uh, yeah, I've I, I done my little... Um, uh, my little tester in my sketchbook world, but it's so much bigger and more, like, dramatic here. Like, I really don't know what it's going to end up looking like. Uh, these, you may be wondering what I'm placing down. These are going to be some signs. Uh, so I'm going to put some signs on here that just is going to say, like, Lovely World Train Station. Uh, I won't bother putting down the signs now because uh, I don't have my keyboard on me, so I can't, <laughs> I can't type anything in. Like, it literally won't let me type it in with a, a controller. Uh, and then these are going to be some benches that are going to stretch along here, uh, and then 
some down here as well. Then, as I said, uh, I'm going to make a, a few cauldrons as well, uh, just to be some bins, just to kind of make this look like an actual uh, functioning station where people can kind of sit and hang out. So let me just go and uh, make a couple cauldrons. I'll add a few more, a little bit more decorations and uh, details uh, later on. But as I said, uh, we are a little bit rushing to today, <laughs> and I want to get uh, as much done as I can. So let's have, have something to eat. No matter how busy you are, make sure you have uh, breaks to, to have something to, to eat. And uh, let's see uh, how the uh, the bridge is looking. Oh, it's looking absolutely enormous. Oh, it's, oh, it's going to look so good. It's going to look so good. I, I want to go and add in some of the... Um uh, some of the uh, the columns that I was talking about. Uh, so first things first, I need to go and use uh, my stone cutter a little bit more. Uh, and let's throw this in here. And I need to do some of the... Uh, oh! How do I do the... Uh, the de oh, I think to do the decorative stones. Don't you need to do half slabs first? Then if I put the half slabs in... Oh! That's not doing anything. Oh, how do I do the... um? You know the, the slabs that have the little circles on them? How do I make them again? Oh, wait a minute! Do I not use, is it just normal stone and not the stone bricks that I use to make them? Ah, I think it might be, you know, but I don't know if, oh, wait a minute. Well, I don't even want to go over that. I've changed my mind. You know what? We won't worry about that for now. <laughs> that, that bit's, that bit's not, uh, that bit's not important. Let's just try and get the, uh, the main part done. So, uh, yeah, very simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do some stairs, uh, from here. Uh, and they're going to go, actually, it needs to go in this way, I believe, yeah. So it's just going to go, like, further in and out. Uh, then it's going to lead to a, a column, which is going to be in the middle. So there's going to be a stair there like that. Uh, then more stairs down there like that. Then this is going to be the actual column, uh, which is going to be two blocks wide. And then those fancy decorative stone blocks that I, uh, at the moment, can't remember the uh, the name of, uh, they're just going to be uh, placed in the uh, the middle uh, on either side, just to add uh, a little bit of flair uh, and a little bit more detail. And you know what? Just adding in those few little tiny details, they're such, like, a little minor easy thing to do, but they do make just such a big difference from, like, a build looking like a, a very basic, simple build uh, to, like, a build that looks like it is... a uh, has been built by someone who knows what they're doing, whether that is the uh, <laughs> whether that is the uh, the truth or not. Uh, so anyway, so these stairs need to go there and there like that. Uh, so yeah, these are going to be the uh, the columns uh, that are going to look like they're holding the uh, the entire bridge up. And you know what I might do as well, uh, just to make this look more like a, a gradual uh, ramp. I'm going to add some stairs on the underneath here. Of course, I can't really add the uh, the stairs on the top of the bridge because uh, that's where all of the uh, the tracks need to go and it'll just look really like weird if it's suddenly like jerking up over all of the, the stairs. But I can add them all uh, on the underneath down there like that. And it just means when you look at it from the, uh, the side, uh, it's going to look much more like an actual uh, proper smooth ramp. So that's why I left a bit of a, a gap from the, the, the first column uh, to where all of these uh, stairs uh, are going to be kind of sloping down here like this. And then the other things I need to do is I need to add some barricades. So they normally have some sort of... I haven't looked up any <laughs> technical train terms here, but there's like little, little blockers at the end of the track, which I assume is just to make sure that the uh, the train just stops. <laughs> like, just in case the brakes don't work, uh, just a, a safe way to make it so the train doesn't go on for forever. So you might realise at the moment, there isn't that. And so if the brakes didn't work, the train would just smash straight into the uh, the wall at the end, which is uh, not what we are hoping for. Although it might run over some of these googlies, which would be uh, quite helpful. So yeah, I'm just going to add some of that down here. So I got some uh, red wall uh, down here. Uh, just to make sure whoever's driving the train, which will probably be me, uh, won't miss it. Uh, let me go and just take care of some of these zombies. God, the amount of googlies. We really need to, like, start doing a, a better job of, uh, of spreading out some more of uh, torches around this area. This has been a, a little bit of a neglected area, to be honest. We haven't built too much in this area. Uh, and normally, like, I notice problems and things that need to be improved and decorated in areas where I build a lot. And then in areas I don't build a lot, I end up forgetting it all. So yeah, these are going to be the barricades down here. Uh, do I have any cobblestone on me? I do not, but that is normally... Uh, very quickly remedied. So let me just go and make some uh, some levers because uh, I want them to be kind of uh, extended out. Uh, let's go and uh, break down some stone from down here. Uh, let's get four just in case I do. Uh, I doubt it, but just in case I do have uh, time to build the uh, the barricade on the other side. And apologies for using a enchanted <laughs> diamond pickaxe to break uh, one block of dirt there. Uh, but yeah, now I can just go uh, make some sticks and then I'll be able to make some levers. Uh, so I can have these uh, all extended out. And it's kind of fine leaving the, uh, the the levers all, like, completely out and exposed just because it just doesn't really matter uh, very much. Uh, it just kind of
kind of looks like it's some sort of train station hardware and in some way important so we can leave that out there like that and that out there like that and then that's kind of the uh, the the barricade so uh right then uh, let's go and uh, check in with uh with progress on the uh the bridge uh i think we've kind of done enough to give you a, a really good idea of how it is like that's the problem this is the reason why i tend to build things smaller in my lovely world and people think they're like oh yeah the step is okay at building but it's not that impressive because if i tried to build something like genuinely like massive and impressive like an enormous palace or something like one it would take me 500 episodes <laughs> where i wouldn't be able to build anything else and also it would just get so boring because if i'm building like giant big old flat walls and stuff it just takes so long so that's why i tend uh, to not do like these sort of giant projects too much but when i do do them they often end up being like really fun and kind of end up being like these big landmarks and i have the uh very much appreciated help from all of my uh, my helpers uh, as well so yeah these are how the lanterns are going to be i was also uh tell you what, let me just make another crafting table quick here just so i can do it without going back down i was going to add some uh some jungle slabs uh, as well uh just around the outside kind of like what i've done with the uh the rest of the areas in the uh the, the train station so if i make some jungle planks this time uh and then go and make some uh jungle trap doors uh where are jungle trapdoors in items nature um am i missing something why aren't they showing up uh why am i still so slow at building this why can't i make oh here they are oh, no there's iron trapdoors why can't i make jungle trapdoors are they do i need like a special thing to make jungle trapdoors um okay I am an idiot. I do not know how to make <laughs> jungle trap doors. I look down and all of the helpers are just staring at me like, what are you doing up there, Snappy? <laughs> so yeah, use your imagination and we will uh, we will try and get them uh, them added in in a, in a later date. But yeah, imagine all of them along here and them all lighting up uh, at night. So uh, let's go let's go and uh, look at it from down here by my my by, by my fish uh, by my boat shop and we can kind of see what it looks like from the other side so imagine that of all of the lamps then all of the columns the whole way along there i think it's gonna look super dramatic so what we do is between this episode and the next episode we'll get the the whole bridge completely done and ready and then we can build what is uh, undoubtedly going to be the most exciting part of this project which is building the train itself but you know what I don't think we need to do that because it looks like we already have a train. Here is a uh, <laughs> a practical demonstration. Actually, because William's got like some potion on him. I don't even know what that is. It looks like that's like the steam coming out. And then the coal is uh, is cookies. It's obviously powered by cookies. And then Polly is the uh, the VIP that is the sole passenger on the, <laughs> the train. She's nodding like, yeah, I am. Very important um I guess you're a VIR. Very important rain, uh, reindeer. <laughs> anyway, though, I'm absolutely rambling now. That is the end of this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye!